Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on Need for Speed 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed the last one, um, it was quite a lot of fun messing around with the vehicles. Um, getting the, uh, getting it to drift as much as I wanted it to. Today, once again, we're going to start with the performance parts. This is going to be our speed slash um, uh, track car, basically. Now again, we want to keep pretty much everything the same. And once again, we need to do, need to change a couple of things. Now, tyres. I'm going to put it to grip. There we go. It's going to help with um, getting the car going. Now, one thing I would suggest, I'm not going to do it in this case because I don't really, I'm not going to really bother with NOS. Um, I would change action NOS to time refill on speed cars just because you don't really drift in, not really doing much of that. And hopefully you're out front all the time. Now, one thing I am going to change on this, I am going to put the supercharger on because it gives us a little bit of boost on top speed, a little bit of boost 0 to 60. So, okay, it takes out 235 horsepowers. But overall performance doesn't really change, so we're going to buy that. Now, for this, let's reset this so it's in the middle. Um, and we're going to go all the way down the bottom. Again, I'm going to just keep with the nitrous at power, stiff sway bar, stiff spring suspension. We want, it to be plant we want this car to be planted to the floor. And in this case, I'm going to actually put strong handbrake on. Help us with uh, getting around those corners a bit better. Um, brake bias is going to be rear for this one. And brake strength is going to be put up a little bit. Downforce, we want all the downforces. And we want a fully open diff, which means that the wheels don't, you know, spin as much. Now launch control, I'm actually going to put launch control on. Make the car a little bit more stable going around corners. Steering range, I'm going to keep steering range and response, and I'm going to keep in the middle because I like to have, a, you know, quite a bit of turning uh, capability for these cars. Now, rear, put this in there and there. Let's see how we go. Now, this is going to handle completely differently, I'm just going to warn you. Um, so, last episode we were sliding. This time, we want to try and get as high a speed as possible. So, that's what I'm going to try and do. Um, I think that it, just, it said the top speed was about 280 something, which will be interesting to see if we can actually reach that. And once again, sound is different. Sound is different on the car. There's no turbo kicking off or anything like that. So, um,. We need to find a nice bit of highway, so let's stop at these traffic lights. You know, pass them. <laughs> That's okay. Um, now, what I want to do is I want to get on this highway. How am I going to do that? It's going to be around there, isn't it? Right, let's get on the highway. Um, oh, already you can see this car does is firmly planted. To the floor. It's not really mine. So it wants to drift a little bit, which is fine, I think. Um, it just helps get around these corners, especially ones quite long like this. I mean, this car isn't even set up for drifting, and it wants to drift. How, like, insane is that? Right, we're getting on this highway now. Let's see what kind of top speed we can get on this thing. This isn't going to be the best road to do it on. I'm waiting, going to wait until I get around to uh, the industrial site. Got a bit of a nice straight there. So we're already on, Jesus, we're on 220 mile an hour. Definitely going to have to slow down a bit. This, this car is going a hell of a lot quicker than I anticipated. <laughs> this is... Um, quite insane actually and the beauty about this game just by driving around you're gaining reputation you're gaining your levels um, so we've reached about 222 I think it was 
put some NOS in. Probably a bad idea. 231 did I see there. Did I see 231? Didn't. I'm going to have to review the tape. Can you guys stop it in time? I think it said 231. That's insane. Oh. See, this car doesn't really want to drift. You can get it to drift, but it doesn't really want to. Um. Oh. Oh. Right. So here we go. Now we're getting around to the, this part where we can just floor it. So not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Let's see what kind of speed we can get. Across this bridge. I think this is a good place to do a speed run. Ooh. As long as there's not cars in the way. Right, come on Volvo, what are you giving me, what are you going to give me? It's a car, 226, 226, 200, is it 226? Oh, the road's not straight enough to do it. Oh, we took a turning off. 226 miles an hour, natural top speed. NOS, I think it was 231, so that's not bad. That really is not bad at all. Let's just uh, get a bit of NOS up again. There we go. Let's get back on the highway. Let's see if we can do another high speed run. We might even turn around. We can do it on the other side of the road. It seems a little straighter. This car, this car has been insane to drive. It's, if you're into your, into your sleeper cars and cars that don't look the part, this is definitely one. This has been a huge, huge, huge surprise. Really did not imagine that it would be this quick when you upgraded it. Let's try and get do another run here the top speed. See if we can hit the natural top speed first. Through the tunnel. This is going to be the straightest bet. Two hundred and twenty seven, two hundred and twenty eight I saw there. Two hundred and twenty seven, that's not it. Downhill. Two hundred and thirty nine stopped at. Wow. Guys, this car is a beast. It's old, but it's a beast. I hope you guys enjoyed this series uh, so far. Let me know. Um, I think I might just do this as a three day videos a week kind of thing. Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed and um, I hope you like liked the ideas I've put forward to you guys for these builds. Um, and I hope you were all as surprised as I am with just how quick you can make this Volvo go. This is the slowest car in the game stock, but ignoring all the uh, damage and stuff that's been done to it, let's just jump to garage. I am going to sell this car. <clears throat> it's not going to be one I'll get to keep, unfortunately. Um, and I need the money back to be able to do up other cars along the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's see how much it sells for. Now it's fully upgraded and had a few miles put on it. 152,000. That will be enough. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I hope you guys um, can leave me some feedback about what vehicles you would like to see next. And also, um, what kind of device and stuff you'd like 
me to uh, would like me to work out for you guys. I'm more than happy to put the work in to work out what um, what is what. Are we testing these cars extensively in future episodes to make sure that they actually perform? Uh, I want them to and to get the right perfect setup for them. But for now, let's say goodbye to the Volvo and hello to car number two, which will be Volkswagen Golf. See you guys in the next episode.